Greetings students, today we are going to learn about one of India's leading oil and gas company Bharat Petroleum. Most of us must have heard the name of the company Bharat Petroleum. Let us know this company in a much better way. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited B PCL is an Indian state control oil and gas company headquartered in Mumbai, Maharashtra. BPCL has been ranked 225th in the Fortune Global 500 rankings of the world's biggest corporation for the year 2012. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, BPCL, a Fortune 500 oil refining exploration and marketing PSU with Nafratna status. Following nationalization, in 1976, BPCL changed its gears and embarked upon a rapid growth path. Turnover, profitability and financial reserves grew by leaps and bounds. In 1989, during vast industrial development, an important player in the South Asian market was the Burma Oil Company. Though incorporated in Scotland in 1886, the company grew out of the enterprises of the Chef Rohit Oil Company, which had been formed in 1871 to refine crude oil produced from primitive hand duck wells in Upper Burma. In 1928, Asiatic Petroleum Company India started cooperation with Burma Oil Company. This alliance led to the formation of Burma Shell Oil Storage and Distributing Company of India. India Limited. Burma Shell began its operation with import and marketing of kerosene. On 24 January 1976, the Burma Shell was taken over by the government of India to form Bharat Refineries Limited. On 1st August 1977, it was renamed Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. It was also the first refinery to process newly found indigenous crude Bombay Hyde. In 2003, following a petition by the Centre for Public Interest litigation, the Supreme Court restrained the central government from privatising Hindustan Petroleum and Bharat Petroleum without the approval of Parliament. Its counsel for the CPIL, Rajinder Sachar and Prashant Bhushan, said that the only way to disinvest in the companies would be to repeal or amend the acts by which they were nationalised in 1970s. As a result, the government would need a majority in both houses to push through any privatization. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited is an erstwhile Burma Shell oil storage and distribution company which got nationalized in 1976. Bharat Gas, the LPG marketing arm of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, is a brand of distinction. BPCL is represented in Fortune 500 listing as well as among Forbes compilation of the world's top 2000 companies. BPCL LPG business unit has 49 state-of-the-art LPG bottling plants, 48 territory offices and about 2,452 LPG distributors. Today, 31 million homes in India use Bharat Gas. Apart from this, several lakh commercial customers and thousands of bulk LPG customers rest easy in the knowledge and confidence that their fueling needs are being fully met by Bharat Gas. In the metal cutting segment, industries have been traditionally using dissolved acetylene gas as there was no alternative metal cutting gas till 2003. BPCL introduced Bharat metal cutting gas BMCG in 2004 which has almost similar but improvised cutting properties over dissolved acetylene gas. Bharat Petroleum has introduced a very innovative product in the year 2004 which is known as Bharat Metal Cutting Gas, BMCG. In fact, after the introduction, the product has really revolutionized the welding market and it is a very superior product. It is an environment-friendly green product and it is the replacement to the dissolved acetylene which is used for welding purposes. This product has really gone manifold in its marketing. We started with a scratch in the year 2004 and the year 2010-11, we ended with a sales of 7,300 metric tons in the year. We have also captured the overseas market and today we are supplying 
our additives to the five countries all over, which is the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and recently we have launched this product in a big way in the Sri Lankan market. We want to revolutionize this product. We have got all the approvals from big test houses and the, we have big customers on our manifold. We have people, we have the biggest customer is our Indian Railways. We have BHEL, we have Steel Authority of India, NTPC, and other steel plants all over the country. BMCG has almost the same or better cutting speed as compared to dissolved acetylene gas with extremely low backfire tendencies, thus making BMCG highly user-friendly, apart from a very safe cutting gas on the shop floors. BMCG is marketed in 19 kg or 35 kg and 47.5 kg packed sizes. Bharat Petroleum owns Mumbai Refinery and Kochi Refineries with a capacity of 12 and 9.5 million metric tons per year. Introduction, this code of ethic code shall be called the code of conduct for board members and senior management personnel of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, the company. The purpose of the code is to reflect business practices and principles of behavior of the board members and senior management personnel in affirming their commitment to good governance in line with the company's philosophy on corporate governance. This code has been framed specifically in compliance with the provision of Clause 49 of the listing agreement with stock exchanges. However, the functional directors and senior management personnel will continue to be governed by the Bharat Petroleum Corporation Management Staff Conduct, Discipline and Appeal Rules, 1976 CDA Rules, which govern the conduct of all employees of the company. The code shall come into force with effect from 1st day of January 2006. Definition and Interpretation In this quote, unless repugnant to the meaning or context thereof, the following expression shall have the meaning given to them as under. Board members shall mean the members on the board of directors of the company. Whole time directors shall mean the board members who are in whole time employment of the company, including the C and MD. Part time directors shall mean the board members who are not whole time directors and include part time official directors and part time non official directors of the company. Relative shall mean a relative as defined under Section 2, Clause 41, and Section 6, read with Schedule IA of the Companies Act 1956. Senior management personnel shall mean and include members of management council of the company excluding whole time directors in this code words importing masculine shall include feminine and words importing singular shall include the plural and vice versa applicability this code shall be applicable to the following person whole time directors part time directors senior management personnel key requirements the board members and senior management personnel shall function within the authority conferred upon them by the company keeping the best interests of the company in view and they shall act with utmost care, skill, diligence and integrity, shall act in utmost good faith and fulfill the fiduciary obligation without allowing the independence of judgment to be compromised, shall not be involved in taking any decision on a subject matter in which conflict of personal interest arises or which in their opinion is likely to arise, shall avoid any dealing with a contractor, supplier or service provider that compromises ability to transact a business on a professional, impartial and competitive basic or influence decision to be made on behalf of the company shall not exploit for his own personal gain opportunities that are discovered through use of corporate property, information or position unless the opportunity is disclosed fully in writing to the board of directors and the board declines to pursue such opportunity. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Bharat Petroleum. We went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a nice day.